What's up everybody? So I have some people asking me, you know, since I put out these videos on Ancestry.com and looking for my biological dad, found him, been dead for 20 some years, uh, tried seeking his family, found them, tried contacting, sending messages, and I'm getting nothing in return. Uh, up to this point, I personally, I believe they want nothing to do with us. So I've been asked, how does this make me feel? Well, I'm calling this video up close and personal because I'll tell you how I feel. 1967, I was a few weeks old. Oldest sister, five years old. Sister below her, four years old. Had one more sister who was one years old. I just came out of the womb, been a couple of weeks, and the son of a bitch decides to leave. And he didn't even turn back. He just kept going. Um, if anything, listen, I know there's two sides to every story, okay? My mom says one thing, I have to pretty much believe what she's saying because, well, he's not around. And I don't see any reason why my mother would have a reason to lie about why they didn't stay together. We're not going into detail about that one, okay? So, how do I feel? Like I said, up close and personal, so 1967 I'm three weeks old he decides to walk away and he kept going he didn't turn around he just turned his back and kept on a walking here we are 2018 okay I find out just recently on ancestors.com that my dad died in 1995 okay and he also had another family of four children how does it make me feel well, I'm gonna explain to you how this makes me feel one it's hard to feel anything with something you never knew you knew nothing of but knowing that he turned his back kept walking never came back never even a phone call not even a sorry just we don't exist anymore gets with another woman and has another four children to where he lives out the rest of his life until his life was gone in 95. How does that make me feel? One, I'm thinking scumbag. I'm thinking how can somebody that is that helped produce, make it's, the, it's your blood. How could you just turn your back and walk the hell away? Like, like we're nothing. Like, like, just take us and throw us into the trash. You know? And then to see that you had another family. Now, I don't know how he was. I don't know the kind of person he was. I don't know if they had a good life with him. I don't know. Maybe I'm not getting contacted because they also seen him as a freaking total scumbag. I don't know. People are saying, aren't you being a little bit harsh? Hell no, I ain't being harsh. Okay? How is that being harsh? Being harsh is watching somebody that I was supposed to look up to 
somebody that I could have grown with, done things with, uh, just decides to walk away and throw your ass in the garbage and you mean nothing to me. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm pissed. And I feel that, if anything, these are probably just different levels of how I feel. I was okay until I found out he had another family. He's got, I got two half-brothers. They're all about the same age almost, a little bit older. Not older, younger. Um, and then I got a half-sister who's younger. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Um, I just, uh, honestly, I, it's really, it's really crazy. It's a crazy feeling. How can you be pissed at somebody you don't even know? <laughs> I mean, seriously, think about it. I don't even know the guy. And I'm freaking jacked up. You know what I'm saying? How would you feel? How would you feel? What led me to doing these videos? With the type of work that I do. I see this every day. Poor kids. These poor kids. It all starts at home. You see, it all starts with mommy and daddy. And when mommy and daddy aren't doing their part, well, it affects your kids, okay? I see kids that have no mommy and daddy. I see kids that have mommy, but daddy, well, daddy's not part of their life. Or daddy's part of their life, but mommy's not. Or, it's just good old grandma. Grandma is the one picking up the pieces, okay? Because there's so many people out there that are irresponsible. They're, it just, it's unbelievable. The, the percentage of people like this is unreal. Well, there was people just like that in 1967 and that was my dad my dad was just like that he decided just said fuck it and walk away I ain't dealing with this shit you think I'm gonna work my little balls off to raise four kids hell no shit I ain't doing that that's too damn much so later on down the road produces four more I don't know, y'all. Uh, up close and personal here. I'm keeping it real. This is how I feel. Um, just, I just got like this just because, just knowing that he had another family that he was taking care of. And, you know what I'm saying? And it's like we were just thrown in the fucking garbage. And I don't normally make videos like this, but I'm pretty jacked up. And it doesn't really matter right now. I'm pretty jacked up over this. Um, I'm pretty, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty angered with this guy. Uh, I guess, do I have that right? Do I have that right to feel the way I do? I guess I do. But, you know, there's people that say, but you have a wonderful life here with your wife, the family that you have, um, and, and that's true. That has nothing to do with how I feel about that piece of shit. And as far as the family that he had, I'm sorry, man, but uh, If you can't accept the fact that your your dad, our dad, you know, was balling around in 1967, back in the early 60s, produced four kids, we all got the same blood from him, 
if you can't handle that, well, you know, I don't know. Uh, a lot of people just turn their back. They don't want, they don't want, oh, you know, oh, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to hear this. It's too much for me. That, whoa, what do you mean? What? He has, what? Four, four other kids? So, I don't know. That is how I've been feeling. I'm pretty sure this will slowly fade out with me. Because I'm pretty certain I'm going to continue to go on for the rest of my life not knowing dick about my dad. Because you have people that basically don't want anything to do with it. Because we want to remember him the way that he was. Well... That's fine. That's fine. But all I got to say is, in the end, he's the one that has to answer to God. He's the one that has to answer to God. So, there you have it, y'all. I'm keeping it real, and listen I want you to do the same if any ends out there have gone through the same exact thing man I feel the pain I know what you're going through but we must continue to move on with our lives the good lives that we have and you know through this whole thing the, my whole life I never felt any anger towards my dad I just didn't understand I didn't know you know, why would he just leave and not, you know what I mean? But just knowing now that he had another family that he was caring for and taking care of, it makes you feel like you were a piece of shit, basically. It really does. So you can't really, you can't really help but feel that way. So... I'm ending it at that, y'all, and uh, just keep it all real, and love, love, love the ones that you're with, and I mean that, love them, love, 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 okay, that's important, so, I'll talk to you later, uh, anything comes up, man, I'll be sure to let you know, peace.